Hi and welcome, my name is Marcin and on this channel I do Photoshop tutorials and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change background color to any color you want. So for example on this image I started with this creamy color, uh, very difficult because very similar to the skin color and change it to the blue color and as I mentioned you can get any color you want and you can change any color you want as well. Also, I want to mention that this image is part of my beauty retouching course. So if you want to learn professional retouching, if you want to get a little bit more advanced knowledge, make sure you check the links in the description. And now we are going to start. So first of all, I want to remove this group where I change the background. So I'm going to start from the beginning now. And first of all, we need to choose adjustment layer that allows us to manipulate with the color. And of course, adjustment layer also allows us to create the mask. So I'm choosing hue saturation in this case. And on this mask, now I want to define the background. So I'm going to select and then color range. In the color range, I will be working with the sampled colors. So we're choosing sampled colors because it allows us to define very specific color wherever we press. You can see this, you can check how does it work by pressing on the image. So of course, I want to define this on the background and it can help you not only with the background, of course. So I'm choosing this somewhere here and then I choose the eyedropper with the plus to make sure whole background is well selected. After that, I want to decrease the fuzziness till the point where the transition is very visible, but it's also not too harsh, so the result can be natural. So I'm going somewhere 50 few in this case. Of course, once again, if you have very specific background color, which is different than the skin, your work will be much easier because then you will not have this strangle. So once it's done, I'm gonna hit OK, then press Alt or Option and check my mask. So on the mask, what I need to do, of course, I need to choose the black color and paint over these areas inside because I don't want them to be affected with the color and everything what's white on this image will be affected by our effect. That's why I'm painting inside. And of course, because of the similarity background to the skin, we could not really define this very well. And you need to be very careful when you get close to the edge, you don't want to get over the edge and also you don't want to leave too much space inside because if you will do this, your effect will be not as good. So you want to be precise doing this. Also here, I want to get close to the edge as possible. So as you can see, I'm doing this fast. If you do this slower, you probably will do it much better. Then pressing other option again to unclick the visibility on this mask, then open adjustment layer. And first of all, you can manipulate with the master color and change it to any color you want. And the job would be finished. Um, if I believe if you have a little bit more specific colors, sometimes you can just work with the colors that are in this area. So you will not be affecting any other color. In this case, we have selected the mask that will not do much difference. For example, if we would choose just reds, we will be affecting only reds. If we choose yellows, we will be affecting only yellows. But of course, in this case, we also affect only the background. So giving you some theory, what's going on now? We affecting only the background because of the mask and we only affect the reds and yellows. If I'm not going to work with reds and yellows and work with the master, I'm only affecting the background and 100% all of the possible colors that exist here. So this is the first step in changing the color, but of course we cannot forget about the luminosity of the image and luminosity values, because once we change the color, we might also change the light. So to preserve the original light from the previous image, we always need to change the blending mode from normal to color. And as you can see now, 
the light is exactly the same as on our previous image. And why we should do this? Because if you work with normal blending mode and if it will affect luminosity values, it might look a little bit fake. Your background could look like it doesn't match with the image. So it's very important that the light is the same as on the original image. And then of course, you can also manipulate with the saturation. You can add up some saturation or take down some saturation. It all depends on you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is my method, how I change background color on my images when I need this. And I'm going to speak to you once again in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.